Hey guys, so I thought I'd do this video, like, I've seen a lot of gaming channels, obviously the ones I watch and stuff like that as well on YouTube, and they do, like, obviously their gaming room tours, so I don't have a gaming room, like, I still live at home, everybody, like, if you watch me, you probably already know that, that's fair enough, so I thought I'd do, like, kind of like a tour of, like, my room, because that's where I keep all my gaming stuff, so I thought I'd do a bit of a tour of it and kind of, like, show you around the bits and bobs that I've got. So, let me just turn this round. So, obviously, my room is filled with a load of rubbish as well. But, um, yeah, what I've got is, obviously, I've got my DVDs and stuff like that. But, obviously, I've got all my originals um, for the Disney Infinity collections. Um, I made these shelves. So, up there, you can see I've got every single Marvel character. And then you come further down, um, you've got my Nuka-Cola cup. Um, which I got from Comic Con this year, as well as that is all the Star Wars figures, including the Light FX ones for Disney Infinity. I've got some of the characters up there, which are the normal ones. So these are just the um, Wave 1, 2, and 3, and they come in these boxes, or you can get the boxes separately. So I've been picking up the boxes gradually, too. And if you look up the top of my mirror, so like you can see these are all the worlds so they start from the first world going all the way through up until the very last world I got which was well, the last one they did which was Dory's world so finding Dory then so if we go back to my bookshelf you've got uh, more of my DVDs and stuff like that that I like then this is like my Wii U stuff so um, <clears throat> Obviously I keep certain bits here, so this is like my Pokken Tournament uh, Pro Pad, which I love, like I got day of release and I will never get rid of it, it's so good. Um, I keep a couple of books that I'm reading at the moment here, which is uh, Magical Girl Apocalypse, which is awesome. If I move that out of the way as well. So on here as you can see, like these are my Wii U games that I've got at the moment. So I do have like Project Zero, Limited Edition, uh, Star Fox Limited Edition, Bayonetta 1 and 2 Limited Edition. Um, I have got that Limited Edition, but um, I've just got, that box is massive, it's about as big as this whole little thing. You've also got, um, I don't know what these are called really, I think those, I don't actually really collect them, but I just like the Night Before Christmas ones. I think I've got about two or three characters to get and then that's literally all the ones I want. I don't particularly want like any more. I only want the Nightmare Before Christmas ones. So I'm just putting them back because obviously you're not going to be able to see other bits otherwise. Right. So that's makeup. You're not interested in that. Um, so then this one here is my Xbox stuff. So this is Xbox 360 and Xbox One. I do have a couple more games that one of my friends is borrowing one of them. Obviously there as well you should be able to see I have my Lego Dimensions board. Um, it's actually got Incredible Beasts on it at the moment and obviously that's the normal portal and then the Ghostbusters portal. So I've got a couple of Vita games like hidden at the back there too but um, if we go down here you can see my Pokemon Pikachu slippers. But if I move them out of the way um, that is some more of the originals when it comes to the Disney Infinity characters that I have. And I just sit on the floor. And obviously those are just a handful of my DS games. I have loads. Um, if I move this out of the way, because that's just my portal for it. You can see I've got all the Pokemon ones at the bottom there, including the new Pokemon Sun and Moon. For all the Harvest Moon games, Room Factory, I love that game. Um, I did get a bit overexcited with Room Factory 4 and then realised I actually still need to buy a DS, um, which is American, so I can actually play that. Um, but yeah, then you've got The Legends of Zelda, Lego games, all that stuff. So if I do that, move along here, um, I'll have to move a few little bits. 
because I kind of have to squish everything in. So I've got a few more DS games stored there with Disney Infinity Power Discs. Those are the Star Wars ones. And they're actually in like the Star Wars limited edition little bags, which are awesome. Um, so yeah. the, obviously these are more Power Discs to Disney Infinity. Uh, they look like Wave 3 and I believe they're other certain ones as well, which actually don't have books for some reason, which slightly annoyed me. But yeah, obviously that's my um, Alice in Wonderland, like drink me glass, it's really really cute. Um, I got that from the Disney store, they did a sale, so I bought that. And here we go, and obviously, oh, monkey killed itself. And you come down here, and then what I've got is, that's obviously my mini Nez, but if I move that out of the way, and these little bits, I've got obviously Pikachu toys because I go to boot sales and I collect all the original ones. So like these ones where they change into Pokeballs. Um, you have my here we go. You have my um, PlayStation One games. So if I that's not in the light of anything, is it? Yeah. So sugar. So if I do that, yeah, you can see that these are all my PlayStation 1 games. I've got, like, all the Crash Bandicoots. I've got all the Spyros. Some of the Final Fantasies. Most of the Resident Evils, which I want. Um, I still need to get a few more extra, basically, Silent Hill ones. I love Silent Hill. I want, like, all of them. So I've got all the Tomb Raiders, I believe. Or most of the Tomb Raiders. Uh, Urban Chaos. Stuff like that. So... They go up there. See, my room has to be a bit compact with everything because obviously I'm in like just one room, so I can't just obviously spread things out as much as I'd like to. Obviously, if I ever move out, then yeah, I'm gonna get obviously do a lot more. But obviously, these are some of the original teddies that I've got. Um, in these boxes are my, I keep my Lego Dimensions figures. There's no point of really showing you guys those. You can kind of see them like through the box. They're all made up, but I like, keep them in those. These are really good to keep them in if you've got any of those. So, in this bit here, you can, if you can kind of see, if I take that out of the way. You've actually got, this is where I keep most of, or some of my guidebooks, strategy guidebooks. So you can see all my Pokemon ones are here. Um, these ones over here are Zelda, which I love. Um, above, you've actually got um, my binders, which hold my Wave 1, 2, and that's Originals book for the Disney Infinity Power Disc. This is the Marvel Power Disc book. This one here, sorry which is awesome, so I keep them all like that. I love the strategy guide. I am actually going to be doing a video, hopefully this week at some point, showing you all my strategy guides. Like, I've got some... I don't think I've got... I've got some pretty good ones, to be fair. Like, I'm quite happy with them. Like, I don't know why. I just... I like the pictures and the artwork in the guidebooks, so... That's why I kind of pick them up. So I'm going to have to stand up now. Sorry. So, and then this is obviously my TV. So on my TV I have my Wii U, which is the black one. So it's got the high mega bar, uh, the mega high memory, if I can say it. Um, my board, I always put these on my board just to keep them safe. And these are the Amiibos that I've got. I do have large Wooly Yoshi as well. Um, I have all the Animal Crossing ones, as you can see. I've also got Chibi Robo in the corner there. Um, Link as the wolf. I have a Kirby. I bought uh, the one there, which is Villager. He's not actually part of the Animal Crossing lot, because like, you'll be able to tell, but I just kind of bought him anyway. I've got Pikachu as well. And I said I've got the three Woolly Yoshis here. Um, and I've also got the Woody Yoshi, the big giant one, but he's in a different room. So, 
Um, yeah, that's I've got obviously one of the bobble heads as well, Fallout bobble heads because I love Fallout. Um, I picked myself up this new controller because I just needed a new one. To be fair, it's it's so good. Like I actually really love the color. Like I want to get the blue version as well. I think there's a blue and an orange or goldy version. So obviously this is my Xbox One. So I've got that. Um, and then if you kind of pan around my room, I've got. Um, that which I bought from the Disney store, so it's a BB-8 um, like carry bag, like little suitcase, which is awesome. Um, over there I've got my Pikachu from Build-A-Bear, and just the random dress that I made the other day. And then obviously the hammer was used to make the dress. And then you've got Pikachu on my windowsill. Um, so, oh, I'm going to just step over this cable. But then obviously on here as well, you pan across and I've got like lots of other little bits. And um, that's where I keep obviously my DS's are all over the back there in the corner. Um, you guys have seen them. If you can hear snoring, it's this little wrap. She literally puts herself there. So. Um, but if you pan across, obviously you've got all my teddies across the back. So I've got like a Hello Kitty plushie, that's Ghostbusters, an EV, which is the limited edition one from Builder bear so it's got both things with it. Um, my Pikachu, vintage Pikachu pillow, which I actually need another one, he's kind of looking a bit grim right now. Um, and then you've obviously got Stitch, Chip and Dale, and you've got a Minutes, which is the cat, which is, I'm trying to, that cat, which is like from the Diddlina, it's like German, which is awesome. Um, you've got quite a few teddies, obviously. I just collect little teddies, you've got my Hello Kitty headphones. You've got on the top here, I've got my Diagon Alley sign because I love Harry Potter. Um, my Hello Kitty little balloon with my uh, tigers, colourful tigers. Uh, you've got one of a hat that I made up there to look like a donut. Um, over here, if you come over here, I've got oh, you've got one over there which is one of the dragons from House Train a Dragon. And then if you come over here, if I move my bag, I've got the other three House to Train a Dragons from Build-A-Bear as well. Um, I use this kind of, it's supposed to be like a vase stand for my bag. Um, I got that in a charity shop. You have my uh, four books for the Animal Crossing Amiibo card series there at the moment, because I'm just collecting those. Uh, if you look over here, I've got... Um, some Baymax stuff. Um, I bought a Niffler, which you guys probably would have seen on my Instagram from Harry Potter World, and it's got my Harry Potter World Deathly Hallows watch on it as well. Um, and then most of my stuff, if I should can kneel down, I have to do this. Most of my stuff is actually, as you can see, like kept under my bed in special like boxes and whatnot, because I don't want things to get broken, damaged, etc. And like my mum definitely doesn't understand any of this stuff, so it's easy to like put it away. I knew there was a spare one. I dropped my power discs the other day and they went everywhere. I just found a spare one. Um so yeah, under here obviously, let me just move those out of the way. And I will show you what I've got under here. You just got do that. Um, so under here you've got stuff like that which is my um, Super Nintendo. I've got this I got from my charity shop which is Guitar Hero 2. Fully boxed. It's amazing. It's cost me like a fiver I believe. Um, this comes from CX and cost me kittens. So that's DJ Hero. I know it's not brilliant, but it's just cheap. That there. So these are like my PlayStation 2 things, so like, I take these out of the way. and my PC stuff. Like, my PC stuff pretty much consists of the original Sims games, Might and Magic that I used to play. Um, I 
page now. That just looks like a word doc. Um, and there should be a different one in there too. But as you can see, I've got all the Devil May Cries come along. I've got obviously like Final Fantasy, all the Guitar Heroes, Kingdom Hearts, um, original Project Zeros, which are awesome. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got nearly, I think I have got all the Resident Evils on PlayStation 2. I believe I've got all the Silent Hills on PlayStation 2 as well. Shadow Hearts, which is awesome. I need to get the next one. But obviously I've got similar on PS2 and that stays in here as well just to keep it safe. I kind of keep all bits together so that they don't get like lost and whatnot. Otherwise you end up trying to find stuff. Sorry, if I put this stand this back up so you can see me. Right. So if I put this So I'm just giving this a clean because right. so I got this. Obviously the rest of it is actually in the box, but um which is the Super Nintendo scope. So it's just I got it pretty cheap. No thanks. No thanks. Um I got it pretty cheap on Gumtree, I believe. Um, I got it with this as well, which is the Super Nintendo um, Super Advanced controller, basically. And it's really good. It's a bit dusty, mind, but yeah, it's really good. Um, so. This bit here, these are my GameCube bits, so you can see that, um, again, I'm running out of space, but these ones, uh, but all the Resident Evils, apart from Code Veronica actually, on this one, Pokemon Coliseum, Pikman, Metroid, Mario Kart, Luigi's Mansion, Harvest Moon, Final Fantasy, and then over there I've got like Bomberman. Um, these are boxed and they actually work, so they're the donkey's got the game in it as well. That's Donkey Kong, Congo, so that's the drums and they work. I've got four controllers, I've got two officials and two non-officials, and then I've got the memory cards, I've got again one of and one non-official but perfectly fine just how I've found them pretty much I've either found them at boot sales, charity shops um, stuff like that so that is one side <laughs> of my bed then underneath here you'll see if I pull this out I have Guitar Hero Live on the Wii U. Yeah, I know it's not brilliant. Everybody's gonna be like, it's crap. But I picked it up off of eBay, Gumtree, sorry, for like a tenner. Like, I'm perfectly happy to pay a tenner for it, leave it under the bed and see if it like creates value. I think I've played it once. I probably won't play it, but if it, it go, oh, you did. <laughs> if it like does more value, then that's awesome. But, so what I'm gonna have to do now is um, what I do is, I've got a couple more boxes, oh. um, I do have a couple more boxes, they are over the other side of my bed, because um, I said, and I've got some more in my wardrobe, so I'll show you those as well, but yeah, give me two secs, because I'm going to have to stand the camera up, and then, <sighs> boxy thing. So stand the camera up like this, and then I'll go and grab them. So. so. 
so this is one of the boxes as you can see um this kind of has a range of stuff in it this is kind of you've got super nintendo in here mixed in with psp and sega mega drive um, i just have nowhere else to store everything to be fair so now you can see like i've got super nintendo stuff which i've picked up you've got Bomberman, Super Mario World, um, Super Mario RPG, I know this one is um, Japanese so I'm just looking to get a cheap Japanese console so I can play it to be fair. Obviously you've got the scope which goes with the scope and that is the other bit to the scope and then I have the instructions for the scope because they came separate. I have an extra controller, literally the box mint, it's amazing. I also have the Game Boy adapter, so I can play any Game Boy game on it, which is awesome, because I have tons of those. Um, that goes with the scope. I do have, this is called my, like my Dark Vader controller for the GameCube, because for some reason they decided, it's like obviously a cheap controller, but they decided they wanted a Dark Vader, Vader there. So, but I've just got one of those because I didn't have any room for anything else. Um, if I put that there, these are my PSP games. So, like, I've just got, obviously, a few ones. So I've got King, um, Final Fantasy, sorry, Innocent Life, which is one of my favourite ones. It's a bit like Harvest Moon. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. Obviously, some of these I've picked up cheaply. So, like, I've got, like, that one, which is awesome. Um, I picked this up and it's still sealed. Guilty Gear, um, so I thought I'd keep that sealed. I've got Dinner Dash, I actually, sorry, it's a guilty pleasure, I like that game. Silent Hill, um, iPad, again, love that game. Final Fantasies, uh, God Eater Burst, I think I picked that up cheap, I've never actually played it. Uh, Monster Hunter, I've got Infected, this game is awesome, I love it. Um, Death Junior, again, love it. Harvest Moon, and Metro, Metropolis. I love that. I actually really like that film. So, and then it's more obviously my I've got in here, which are other stuff. So I've got that's one of my controllers and the wires for my Mega Drive. Another controller. Um, so they're just PSP cases for my games if I want to take it out. Uh, one of my PSPs is in there. So I've got the Sega Mega Drive 2, you can tell obviously because, I know it says it, but because it's the red button one, um, I want to get the original one, or oh, I think my boyfriend has the original one, so I can play any original games, I know they double compa compatible, but um, obviously like that one is the Genesis, so it won't play on that, but it'll play on the original. So, then I've got my... Mega Drive games, so I've got Mrs. Pac-Man, I've got James Pond, uh, FIFA actually came with the console, I wouldn't have bought it otherwise, Sonic, I believe I have another Sonic floating somewhere, I know I have two oh, boxed first ones, um, this one which I picked up the other day, which I'll show you a few bits that I picked up the other day anyway in a different video, but Ariel, I, I've never actually seen this one, so that's why I kind of picked it up, I was like, oh, I want it. But it's just as hard as Lion King. Oh my god, is it? Which I still actually need to find, I believe. Um, Echo the Dolphin, Aladdin, uh, Mega Bomberman, and Son Sonic 3. Um, unboxed, I've got Road Rush. So I've got Wrestle War. I've got Chucken, I can never say that one. And this is like a sports kind of one. Sonic 2, Sonic Spinball, uh, this is 2 and 1, so this is Quackshot and Castle of Illusion, uh, Looney Tunes, which I love, and Toy Story, so this is pretty much, right, you go down there, you? This, this is pretty much all my, like, games I've got for the PSP and, like, basic bits like that, so... Obviously, it's quite of a 
to be honest, the most thing that I struggle with is like storage and like pretty much packing things away and making sure like things aren't getting broken and squashed. Especially if I have stuff in like I know it doesn't look like I'm doing it properly, but there's certain things going in certain places. But yeah, it's like storage and like if I have like a really nice a bit like um, this one, Bomberman. It's in a really nice box, so I really don't want it to get squished or broken or anything like that because, you know, it's really nice. So I don't want it to get buggered in any way. So I kind of do, like, you kind of learn how to, like, pack things really well because you don't, so you don't want things getting, like, squished, broken or anything along those lines. And I've got to do this so I can get the next box out for you. So what I'm going to do is... Whoops, I'm going to put this down again. And I've, I have no idea how I've done that. Come here. So I'm going to put this down again here. So you can see me. And I'm going to put this box down. And... Like that, and I'm gonna grab my other box from the bed. Blooming toy cat. Oh, they're not gonna stay. So this is one of my favourite boxes, this is like basically Nintendo, but this is pretty much um, my Game Boy box. Um, I really want to, sound so over like, you know, I'm never going to be able to do it, but I really want to collect all the Game Boy games. So this box has my 3DS plates in it, so I've got Pokemon, um, Sapphire, and I can't think of the right name for that one. I've got those ones. I've got Pikachu. These are just the white plates I found. You can't really see it to be fair. About a minute. I don't know if that helps a little bit. Right, so you can see it's just like an imprint and it's got Mario stuff on it. I have got Kirby plates, so they're all the plates I've got at the moment, and this is the only Nintendo 64 game I've got. I found it boxed at a boot sale, and I paid like a fiver for it, I believe, five ten pounds. And yeah, it's awesome, so I just picked it up. I don't have an N64 at the moment, but I'm looking to get one, obviously. So, you've um, this is my Game Boy Advance. Um, again, I want to get more, but this one was just cheap, and I wanted to play um, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, so I bought this one to play that on, so I've got that. So, obviously, what I do first of all is, so I've got this one, which is Bubble Bobble, this is the original game as well as the new one, as you can see. Uh, it comes with this at the top which is a cable to um so you can play against your friends it's really hard to find it together but i managed to um so the other things i've got is i have got another two of these or one of these sorry in green my dad borrows it so these are my game boy colors as you can see so i've got a pink one and um, i would have got all these from boot sales i don't pay or boot sales or gum chain. i don't pay a lot of the money for these i won't pay a lot of money for them um, I just want to collect every colour. So I've managed to got four different colours at the moment of them. So I'll put them there. So over here I have got these, which is two boxed SPs. Um, these came off Gumtree. I actually put it up and add up on Gumtree saying that I wanted Game Boy stuff and to get in touch with me. 
and I was only buying the stuff that I wanted so pretty good condition it came from the same lady one was her daughter's one was her son's I actually bought quite a few games off of her as well because again she had a lot of box games like I'll go to chat shops even if they're like games that I'm not necessarily going to play as I said I want to kind of get as many of these games as possible I believe this one is blue yeah again it's not in bad condition it's just it was just nice to get them like that so I did that so the other stuff I've kind of got in here before I go into my games is collectibles. So if I've got a game and it's a Nintendo based game and it's got a collectible with it, this is a boo from Luigi's Mansion 2 when it came out on the 3DS. It's like a stress ball, but I've kept that obviously sealed. Um, I've got another charger. Um, I ordered two of the, both games when they came out, so I have... Pokemon X and Y when they came out so these are the things to hold little Pokeballs to hold your carts get them boxed I to find it. do this oh yeah, yeah. Um, so just like a, a case that's just like a Game Boy it's a Joytech one but it uh, magnifies and obviously does the light as well then I've got, that's a Kirby Planet Robobot pin that I got with the game. I have a Professor Layton little key ring, which is all like a little phone, you attach to your phone, which is awesome. Um, and then I've got these, I believe I should have had another one, but I will look for that in a minute, it might come up. Um, but yeah, I've got him, so I've got KK Slider, which is awesome, and he's a little fossil. Uh, I actually know this character's name, but I've got him and he comes with like a pitbull seed, which is awesome. Um, I have two of these. My mum my had all the Professor Layton's as well, so we managed to get both. Um, so the original games, when they originally made just the three, just cases to hold them in, so I keep them quite nice. Um, I believe that's... Just an extra book. I kind of have a habit of getting extra books with things. I have got a Build-A-Bear Pokemon Pikachu card. Oh, I'm really sure I had another one of those things. But, oh, it's probably floating somewhere. Right, so then it goes on to, like, my Game Boy games. And I, if you look, you'll probably you see a better view of these on my other videos. But, yeah, I've got everything from... I've got Pokemon Quartz which is obviously a pirate version but I love them I've, these are Sabrina the Teenage Witch I love them uh, Wink Chicken Run Bratz obviously there's a couple of these like Chicken Run I think Bratz Raven and a few others just came from the charity shop but they were boxed so I literally bought them um, I have Pokemon Pinball Rumble mint condition that I've bought uh, Crazy Castle love that game uh, this one came from a charity shop and it cost me a couple of quid. Um, American Dragon. Is it Jake Long? Yeah. Uh, Polly Pocket, which I, obviously I don't play. <laughs> um, this one came from that lady with the, D the SPs. Um, Pokemon Red Rescue Team. It's really hard to find box with everything, so that's awesome. So I'll put that in there. Um, then I've got stuff like... Dream Drop Distance, or oh, not Dream Drop Distance, Chain of Memories, sorry, which I love. I actually bought because I wanted to play. This cost me, I think it cost me oh, something like 30 quid, but I bought this one and I bought Advance, it came with Advance Wars, Advance Wars 2, and um, Wario Wear Ink. And to be honest with you, that this game on its own is worth £50. Um, I believe the second one of Advance Wars is worth a lot of money. Again, you've got Donkey Kong, Game Boy, um, Gallery, um, both Finding Nemo's, Game & Watch 2, Gallery, sorry, Sims Bomberman. This is one of my favourite games, so I just had to get it from when I was a kid. Um, that came from a boot sale with my friend Jasmine. Um, I love the film of this, so I just bought it. I've actually never played it. Quest for Camelot. Then you've got stuff like Ninja Turtles. 
are of this one I bought specially off of eBay, which is Simpsons Treehouse of Horror, which is one of my favourites, that's why I bought it. Um, I think I have both of these, I can't remember where these came from, but I know they're really hard to get both. Like everyone wanted this one, but no one really got this one. So they're really good. Um, Bomberman, love Bomberman. So if I could just put these all back, I'll show you the So then these are all the carts I've picked up from places like boot sales and stuff. So they're all the individual carts and they range from oh excuse me, stuff like Ace Lightning, they've got like Thunderbirds, uh, I believe that's Mega Man, Broken Sword. I have another Kingdom Hearts, but this one is USA and that's EU. So they actually have different things on them, so I've kept both of them. I've obviously Pokemon, Emerald, and Sapphire, Pimble, 32 in 1. So I've got Rugrats in Paris, uh, Rescue Wrap, Pokemon Gold, Driver, Turret 3. That's obviously uh, the Powerpuff Girls, but it is a cop off. Um, Pokemon Red, uh, got that one, Pokemon Blue, Turok 2, uh, Simpsons Road Rage, Muppets, Heroes, Yu Gi Oh! Mario, Donkey Kong Country. So, yeah, so that's like main all my Game Boy stuff. I love Game Boys, it was like one of the ones I grew up on, so. I really want like every Game Boy thing I can get. So the last thing I've got is actually like my Wii collection. So they do this and I do this again. 